Groovy, baby, yeah! Alright everybody, welcome to part 3. Let's play Earthworm Jim. We're in the third world. Down the tubes. This is actually a pretty cool level. First enemies are nothing to worry about. They're just like floating... I don't know what they are. Orbs. Those guys are tough. You can't hurt them. And if they grab you, they will punch you and you lose 20% health. Only thing you can do is jump over them. Anyway, this level's got great music. But then again, so does every level in this game. I know I said that before. But it's true. I only speak the truth. A lot of people don't like these levels. Mainly for the pod parts. I don't know. I don't usually have any trouble with those. Giant hamster! For the win! Let's go! He's our buddy. Alright, this is what I was talking about. These little pod parts. I don't know, drive people nuts. I have a problem with them. Of course, if I'm saying that, I'm probably going to fail. Basically, you have about 30 seconds of air. You can use the jets to push you around. If you hit the rocks too much, your machine will crack, and you'll die, of course. Open that. Release. Oh, shit! Seriously, you do not want to be touched by these guys. Especially when they're in a hallway like this. One will punch you and send you back to the other. Alright, another pod part. It's kind of like, I guess, flying a ship in space. You can adjust your angle however you like. These are what you want to look for because they give you more air. If you go for too many distractions, you're probably going to end up losing air, so... While I'm in the pod, I usually just go for my goal. Ah, I mentioned this music is awesome, because it is. Ugh. The key is not to panic. If you panic, you will hit the edge, you will get hurt. And your little bathy sphere will explode. Guess I gotta go down here. The problem is, when you hit the wall, you also bounce back quite a lot. Uh oh. I might not make it! <gasps> Come on, Jim. This is for building the suspense. Is he gonna make it? Well, of course. This part is absolute bull. They force you... They force you to be hurt by this guy. I don't see any other way around him. You can't hurt them either. There's that cow we launched. And look at this. We're already off. Now you would think this is the end. But it is indeed not. Because down the tubes has a part two. And this part two is legendary. A lot of people fail, and I don't know why. There's a bathysphere part later that a lot of people just can't stand. They can't take it. Another secret for you guys, just in case you didn't know about that. I'm gonna ride on. I'm gonna name him Biscuit. 
biscuit for another ride. And here we go! 30 seconds to start off. They give you 30 seconds just to get here. And this one loads you up a little more than usual. You know you're in for a long ride. Here we go. You pretty much have to be constantly on the jet. Or at least pushing it like I am. If you want to make it all the way through this. Don't go for the distractions. You don't need ammo. Try not to hit the edge, because... <laughs> you know, because... You'll die! Duh. Just enjoy the music. Seriously. As I kill myself. Alright, we're getting close to a secret that will save your life. If I don't crack my sphere first. You see where those two lights are? Go to the right. <gasps> Air! Oh my gosh. A lot of people, for some reason, if I could get it, jeez, I'm gonna kill myself talking about it. A lot of people don't know about this, but it pumps you up with 60 seconds of air, and that's enough time to make it all the way to the end. You're not gonna make it if you don't know about that. To make it, you would have to be on the jets constantly and be super perfect. Make sure you don't. Ugh, I'm gonna crack my machine before I get over there. Come on, you can do it! You can do it! Alright. We have arrived. Alright. The next room contains the boss. Now, a little word before I go in there. A lot of people like to talk about how epically hard he is. I'm not. You just knock him over. And that's it. Alright, guys. This part was a little boring, I know, but thanks for watching. Groovy. And Groovy. Mecha Prime, signing out. Alright guys, welcome. It's like a little bonus thing I'm doing. Just to show what happens if you lose to Psycho in that asteroid race. Basically you shoot him, and you whip him. This is the henchman that captured the princess above the earth before she dropped the suit that landed on her, uh, gym. Earthworm gym is what I was trying to say. Before I sounded like a fool. Anyway, he goes up to the top, you can't reach him. This really isn't as hard as I'm making it look. See? Alright guys, thanks for watching. This is Mecha Prime, signing out.